uh, you see, you need all the three. You need prevention strategies, which, in, which has been, I've been talking about community joint community patrolling in the VR, in the late hours, to restore public confidence and trust in the police and the people, right. where they start working together to do joint patrolling at night to check crime on the wheels. Second is, first prevent. Secondly, if still it happens, we need the right kind of quality investigation because otherwise prosecution will not be possible. Right. You need evidence to prosecute, which is why use of technology is important. Install lots of cameras so that you can detect as much as possible. Third, expeditious trial so that you, once you have good evidence, then the trial should finish within six months and then give exemplary punishment. It could include death penalty. It could be life imprisonment. I think that the message will go down. Unfortunately, there is no coordinator. You need an effective coordinator. And at the state level, the coordinators can be the chief secretaries. The chief secretaries are the heads of civic society um, state administration. And there are a couple of factors, administrative and uh, uh, policing failure to name a few. Number one, in our country, the judiciary and the police, uh, ju judiciary, police and the population ratio is really pathetic. I don't know what was the last time when the police had filled up its vacancies and how many police women are employed in the department itself, number one. Number two, so far as judiciary is concerned, again, judiciary, the law judiciary is really overburdened, including the higher judiciary. We, our judge population ratio is horrible and one of the lowest in the world and that also needs to be covered up. Number right. three, when you talk about expeditious trials, those things are not possible. Those things are possible and doable and can be done. Only thing is, at the time when the charge sheet needs to be filed, etc., etc., again it boils down to the police function.